Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is another video on the same topic. Uh, here the uh, question is of uh, exercise D 4.11 and this is from the 6th edition of Mr. Sadra's book on ABC. Okay, let's recall the basics. This is the diode, diode formula given um, uh, or taken from the Shockley's equation. And this equation I have taken from Mr. Ballstead book. And here you can see that IS is the reverse saturation current, VD is the applied voltage, diode voltage, N is ideality factor, which is 1 for ideal diode and 2 for non ideal diode. In this video, we will be assuming N to be 1. VT is the thermal voltage, which is equal to 25 millivolt at room temperature. In Sedra's book, he has written the same thing, but for ID, he has written I. This can be simplified by neglecting minus 1 because the other portion is uh, big. And so this is our approximate equation. And as I mentioned that in this video we will be taking n is equal to 1. And therefore we will be using this solution. Or this is the equation that we will be using. We know that the diode characteristics looks like uh, something like this. The diode fully conducts between the range 0 0.6 to 8 volt, but generally we assume it to be 0 0.7 volt for simplification purpose. So from here 0 to 6 volt range we can assume two voltages, one is V1 and the other is V2. For V1 we can say the current is I1 and for V2 we can say the current is I2. Now we will uh, derive the relation. This was the equation that we, we found out and from here we will apply this equation onto this uh, diagram. So we can say that for voltage V1 the diode current will be I1 here it is I1 now and rest everything is similar. This V will be changed with V1. And similarly we get an equation for V2 it will be now I2, here it will be V2. Now, if we divide I2 by I1, we get this relation. I hope you can do this. And now, since there is a base of E, so to simplify, we'll take natural log. So, taking natural log on both sides, we get V2 minus V1 is equal to this Vt will come here. So, Vt log natural I2 over I1. Now we need to convert this into log uh, base 10 and for that uh, mm, uh, let's go through this. I have discussed this in my previous video as well. If we take log natural of 10 the value is 2.3 and log base 10 of 10 is 1. So the relation or the ratio between these two is 2.3. Similarly if we take log of 100 it will be 4.6 log natural. And if you take log base 10 of 100, it will be 2. And here also the 4.6 divided by 2 will be 2.3. So we can generalize and we can say that log natural x divided by log base 10 x will be equal to 2.3. That means log natural x will be 2.3 times log base 10 x. So that is what this formula will be using to convert log natural into log base 10 so we multiply it by 2.3. Now coming on to the question. The question says the design is circuit. That means primarily we have to find this R1, R, to provide an output voltage of 2.4 volt. So here we need 2.4 volt. Assume that the diodes available have 0 0.7 volt drop at 1 milliampere. So this is from the diode characteristics. Okay, now to get an output of 2.4 volt here, each diode must drop 2.4 divided by 3, that is 0 0.8 volt. We also have from the characteristics that each diode uh, has a current of 1 milliampere at 0 0.7 volt. 
so we'll apply this data into this uh, graph here so we'll assume that v1 is 0 0.7 volts so let v1 be 0 0.7 volt and the current for this is 1 milliampere from this characteristics and also v2 we now take 0 0.8 volt this one and we have to find i2 so we use the derived equation that we had plugging in the values 0 0.8 0 0.7 2.3 vt is 25 millivolt and log i2 over i1 simplifying we get this term and from here we can take log on um, uh, we can write that log i2 over i1 is 0 0.1 divided by this term which is equal to 1.739 and now we can take anti-log taking anti-log i2 over i1 will be 54.827 if you take anti-log from on your calculator of 1.739 we'll get this value from here i2 is 54.827 into i1 i1 we know is 1 milliampere so i2 will be 54.827 milliampere now here we know this voltage we know the other voltage so voltage across r will be 10 minus 2.4 we know the current therefore we can find the resistance by v over i so the resistance is v over i v is 10 minus 2.4 and i is i2 54.827 solving we get the value of resistor 138.61 ohm which can be approximated as 139 ohm. So this is the answer given in the book. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.